Hi guys, just wanted to do a little video showing you some uh, some box sets that I got recently. Um, yeah, you know, I, uh, I like to collect many different types of movies, mostly horror. Um, and that's primarily what this stack is. It's, well actually it all is, it's just, it's horror and disturbing movies, so. Anyways, uh, let, me know, let me know what you guys think about these ones, these editions. Um, <clears throat> and I'll start with the one that I just got today. And then the, the ones after that are, are within a week that I, that I received these. Now most of these ones I picked up off of eBay or Amazon. Um, so let me know what you guys think. The first one is going to be Dawn of the Dead. This is the ultimate edition right here. You guys all know about Dawn of the Dead, and I was really happy to add this one to my collection. This is a pretty, uh, pretty sought-after collector's item right here. This is a spine. Um, there's all the different features it has: disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four. It's a four-disc set. You see right there, it's kind of the fold-out style. It's got some information about it. Just awesome. If you're if you're a zombie fan, if you really are into George A. Romero or into the whole Dead series, definitely try and get your hands on this one. I got this on a really good deal on uh, Amazon. I just happened to be searching on there um, like two days ago or something like that. And I happened to come across this and I saw it was brand new sealed and, I'm, and I plan on keeping it that way since I already have you know multiple editions of this one. So... Yep, definitely happy to add this one in there. And the next one is one I got off of Zavi, and that is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. This is another, um, I believe it's a four disc set. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a three disc set. But this one comes with a 100 page booklet. Um, just awesome feature. If, if you're not a fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, um, I would definitely avoid this one. But I'm, I guess I'm one of the few that, that enjoyed it. I like, I like Dennis Hooper. I think he was great in this movie. Um, I don't think this thing had, touches at all on the first one. I mean, the first one was just, no, nothing could touch that. I, none of the remakes, nothing. But really cool cover art right there. You got Leatherface. And you got his crazy family right there in the background. And this, of course, is the Arrow video release. And it's just... They do some really great releases right there. And then you see there's three different cases right there inside of the books. Book. Yeah. And the next one is also an Arrow video release. And this one, I believe, is out of print and kind of hard to come by nowadays. And it, it goes for uh, a good, good price now on eBay and Amazon, if you can even find it on Amazon anymore. And this one is limited to 10000 10, and that is the um, Battle Royale limited edition collector's box set. But a really nice set. Got this one sealed as well. And you can see right there all the different editions that come with it. You got the theatrical cut, director's cut, special features, booklets, comic, and postcards. So this is definitely, I mean, I, I love Arlo. I think they do some of the best releases. Um, they're they're so considerate to their customers as far as you know just packing in a bunch of stuff in there and really getting awesome additions out to you know people that are spending their hard-earned money and want to get stuff that you know is worth collecting and, and keeping and there's the back as well you can see everything that comes in here the art cards you got the famous poster right there all the different CDs three to set Blu-ray, yeah, really awesome edition. That's the Battle Royale, and just like the other ones, I have multiple editions of Battle Royale, so I'm not going to be uh, opening this one either. Keep this one sealed up. And the next one is a is a pretty rare one. I I haven't seen too many people do a review on this one, um, and this is definitely part of the disturbing, sick horror twisted category. And that is the um, Men Behind the Sun. And this one's got the uh, the 40 collector's cards right here. 
This is the complete collection. It has every single movie, one, two, three, and four. Um, it's, this one's still sealed, but you can see this one is limited to, to 1,500, and this is number 1,037. And these are all the movies that it comes with. One, two, three, and four, Laboratory of the Devil, A Narrow Escape, and the Nang King Massacre, something like that. Um, I've actually only seen the first original Men Behind the Sun. It's extremely long. I couldn't get through all of it, but I saw a lot of the um, the torture and gore scenes. And the special effects are not very good at all, but I mean, the movie is just disturbing on so many levels because it's based on, you know, a true story. This really happened. You know, I don't know if it follows it exactly, but, you know, really sick, sick twisted stuff, what they did to these, these prisoners, you know, experimentations, um, you know, just anything basically they could come up with to do to these people, they did it. And, you know, if, if you, uh, you know, if you can watch this movie, it's kind of like a documentary in my opinion. If you can sit through this and watch it, you know, check it out. It's not for everybody. And the next one is actually uh, another edition of Men Behind the Sun. This is another one that I found. I found this for a good deal. And it actually has the Unit 731 right there. This is another four disc set. There's the spine right there. Here's the back. I like the back artwork on there. I think that's pretty awesome looking. Men Behind the Sun is a voyeuristic insight into the unthinkable Japanese atro atrocities committed against the Chinese during the World War II. That basically sums it up. All the things that they did to these people is in these, in these two sets right here. You can see just basically the same exact thing, just different uh, box set right there. So yeah, um, let me put them all out for you guys to see. Yeah, I was really happy to get get these five right here. Um, I have quite a few box sets, and, and and I'll go over more of those ones too. But these are just a few. I really like these two because these ones are pretty rare and hard to come by nowadays. So. Let me know what you guys think about these box sets and if you want me to do any, any more, you know, review these or tell me more what you think about these movies, you know. So I hope you guys have a good one and catch you later.